so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're talking about sending emails from WordPress. Now, I get a question a lot where people say, I know I got a notification from maybe a contact form, or I received a payment from a client, but I never got the email. So maybe they're using WP Forms or Gravity Forms, and they have set everything up, and WordPress is simply not getting the notification to their inbox. Um, this can be scary if you're doing payment stuff. Maybe they're not getting the receipt. Maybe you're not getting a new lead for a client. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you are getting these notices and notifications from WordPress. So one thing about WordPress, if you don't know, it's not great at sending emails. So it uses the PHP mailer function, which we won't really get into, but what it comes down to is sometimes, and a lot of the time, it drops the ball when it needs to get those messages to you. So what do you do about it? Thankfully, there's a great plugin called WP, or WordPress, SMTP, or SMTP Pro. This allows you to guarantee the deliverability of that notice, email, lead, payment, etc., cetera, um, from your WordPress website. And today we're gonna go ahead and set it up, show you the different options that are available, and jump into the weeds of setting it up. Thank you so much for watching. Before we jump into it, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you wanna see more WordPress tutorials just like this. All right, and lastly, I'll say facebook.com slash group slash press avenue is where we further discuss all tutorials. So I'll post the videos on here. And then if you have additional questions, need follow up, want to share your link, etc., you can do so within this group, which has been really great. I got 525 ish people at the point of this video, and it's growing more and more each day. All right, so getting into it. The plugin is called WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. I believe WP Forms acquired it and has transformed it into a fantastic product. It's got this little pigeon guy at the top. There are other options, but you're really looking for this bird when searching the repo within WordPress itself. So it has a description here. If you have problems sending emails, this is it. Our goal is to make email deliverability easy and reliable, which is what we want and why we're here. They have a website as well, wpmailsmtp.com, and has more um, features and stuff talking about the pro version of this. Uh, they do a white glove setup, which is fantastic. And the pro version, let's check it out. As of this video, they have for 50 bucks, it allows you to do the Amazon SES, basically the email, simple email service. I'm gonna space what that's called. Um, you can do Gmail. Actually, you can do these without it. Um, Office 365, and you get support for 99. You can do all the same thing, which includes a white glove setup, which is basically where you say, hey, I want Office 365 to work. Here's my details. They do it all for you, which is actually really great for a plugin author. Um, they verify your email or your D DNS verification here. And then everything from there, developer and agency, is all the same stuff, just for 20 sites or 100 sites. So that's the pro. In this one, I'll be setting up the um, free version, and then also talking about the pro as we go along. So if we go back to the WordPress one, these are all the services that this connects to. And you can see here, if you want to do Outlook.com or Office 365, it says pro, so you need the pro one but all these other ones you can do on the free one. <coughs> now they recommend Pe Pepe Post, which I've never heard of and I did look up. Send in Blue, um, same thing, never heard of it, but did look it up. I typically have used Mailgun and SendGrid, and of course you can use Gmail because a lot of people do use Gmail. And then we'll go from there. And then all other is if you host your own email server, you can put in the credentials there and use that as well. So let's get into it. Um, so we'll go ahead and log into our WordPress dashboard, and we'll go to Plugins, and then Add New. Give it a minute. We're going to search for WPSMTP, Enter. 
And then again, you look for that pigeon. So there's tons of other ones that do the same thing. This one's been the most reliable. Their support's great. And I always look for this right here. One plus million active installations. That's pretty good. The next one, 400,000. Don't get me wrong, it is excellent. Um, but the ones with more active installations and last updated uh, is really what I look for when installing plugins. So I'll go ahead and hit install. This has already been backed up and saved, um, so I don't have to worry about installing this and having an issue. And if it does, we'll fix it right now, but usually is not an issue. I have something called WP Rocket. It's a caching plugin, and I just clear the cache every time I install something new. So coming down here on the side, there's a ton on this particular website, but down here it says WP Mail SMTP. So we're gonna go ahead and click that, and we're gonna set this up. So it says, thanks for installing it. You need to configure a mailer, which is what we're gonna to get to. But up here at the top, general is just filling out the general information. Um, go ahead and delete this for now. Um, email test sends an email test. Email log, you can't see unless you have the pro version. So the log says, I sent the email to John at Press Avenue and it didn't work and you can dig through the logs and figure out why. Email controls, you don't get any controls with the free one. You get all the control with the pro one, which makes sense. And finally, the miscellaneous. Um, you can read these, you can hide the announcements, you can hide errors. When you uninstall this, this will remove everything. You can check that. And I can show you these ones as well. So the controls, it basically says if you want to unlock comment notifications, user change notifications, automatic updates, new users, personal data requests, all the kind of requests that you can get from WordPress notifications. This will allow basically this to handle that and send it to you with the pro version. <coughs> Excuse me. And the log. Um, so this is what you see. You'll see email logs and view logs. And then what I don't like about it was when you click these, the menu disappears. So you gotta kind of go back and then we'll go to back to general here. All right, so license key. I'm using the light version or the free version. No license needed, enjoy. If you wanna unlock more features, there it is. And then lastly, you can get 20% off if you install this uh, and click here, which is kind of a bonus. Um, all right, the from email, you would fill in here. Um, so it would be contact, info, services, whatever you want at yourdomain.com, which would be the from email. If you wanna force everything to come from that instead of the admin, you can do that here. You would put in your name. I'll just leave it. And then again, you can force the name. So instead of it saying WordPress, it'll be from this particular service is called Silver Key. Next, return path. Um, oh, this is for bouncing. Just read this right here. It indicates whether a non-delivery receipts or bounce messages are to be sent. So that's up to you. And finally, mailer, and this is why you're here. So PHP, if you just turn this plugin on and do nothing, it's still using that PHP mailer function, which you don't want, because then there was no point to doing any of this. Um, they, again, recommend Peppy Post and Send in Blue. If you want a free way to send emails, Send in Blue allows you to do 300 emails a day, uh, which is actually a ton. Uh, Mailgun does, um, in their trial, you can do 10,000, and then in their free version after the trial's done, it's 100 a day, and then SendGrid is also 100 a day. So those are your kind of free options when you first get into this. Additionally, other SMTP is free, and then Google is, Gmail is free as well. Um, but if you didn't want to use your Gmail, or you didn't have an other SMTP, so another um, mail server that you're using, Send in Blue, Mailgun, and SendGrid are your free options. And this one we're going to use SendGrid. <clears throat> I've always used them in the past. What I like about them is when setting this up for clients, um, and this is a client site, um, Mailgun is great too, but it needs a phone number verification, and that can sometimes get tricky because you got to find a phone number that can get the verification message, so it has to be a, te a text, it can't be a landline. Um, Twilio, SendGrid, it's just an email verification. So, so is Mailgun, but you don't have that phone number option, so it's way easier to set up for other people. Um, 
and then you just need the API key. I will say, hey, John, Mailgun and SendGrid have their own WordPress plugins. They are total crap. Um, this does a way better job than the one SendGrid created and the one Mailgun created. I've done both. I actually got fed up with Mailgun's WordPress plugin, switched to SendGrid, realized that theirs isn't any good either, found this, which solves the problem for them. They should just pay these guys. Um, all right, so SendGrid. So SendGrid says, I need an account and an API key. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over to SendGrid site. So just sendgrid.com, let it load. Make this way bigger for you guys. Um, it does a ton of stuff. Basically what we're looking for is transactional emails and we just need an API key. So they have all these products and services, um, email automation, design, templates, newsletters, whatever you want. But if we look down here, free, so we can send out 40,000 emails every 30 days, and that's just the trial, and then 100 a day forever. So 100 a day really does cover a ton of people. If you're doing more than 100 a day, you would then have to pay and you can shop around. But if we're looking here, let's see. I think this is 10,000, no, it's more than that. What's it take for the price? To, oh, there we go. All right, so for $14.95, you can send 50,000 emails a month. Um, so it's just over thousands a day, um, which is pretty cheap. So if you're doing 50,000 emails in a month, I'm sure you can afford the $14.95 a month estimate. And then it basically gives you the same stuff as the free. So you can get support, which is insane, analytics, an editor, but we don't need any of this. We just need this first one right here, API key. So we're going to go to... Start for free. Yeah, I'll make this bigger. So I'm gonna block all this. Um, and then go ahead and sign up so you don't see my password, username, and everything else. So what did you miss? I created a username and password, then it asked for first name, company, email, uh, and then ask you if you're the CEO or developer or your title. Then ask how many emails you think you're going to send a day and then how you're going to use this. And then you hit submit and it kicks you into this dashboard here. Now, as far as the verifications, it sends out an email. You just got to click the link. It pops you back here and now you're verified. So that's easy. Mailgun's the same thing, except that you then verify with a phone number, which is sometimes a pain. So here we go. Send your first email, integrate using our web API. That's what we want. So hit start, brings us into here. What do you wanna do? Um, see, I haven't verified at the top here. Um, I want to do the web API. So there's, again, a million other things you can do. And then how do you wanna do it? I'm gonna say PHP. We really just want the number. We actually don't need the code. So I'll hit choose. And then you name your key. So it says, make sure you're using at least PHP 5.6 or 7.0 or 7.123, doesn't matter. So 5.6, anything before that doesn't work. And then 7.0, 1, 2, and 3 all work. Um, create a name for the key. So you put in your website name. And then you hit create key, which obviously I'm gonna block. And then you copy it. And then the rest is just code on how to use it, which we don't need because we're using this plugin. So go back to settings, API key, paste, save. So that's my password notification. All right, so now it says saved successfully. And then we come down here and then it just shows the API key blotted out. Then to test this, I can go to test, and then I'll put in uh, don't email me, just Facebook me on the group. I get too many emails as it is. So put in your email address. Do you want it to be HTML or plain? It's up to you. Hit send. Now go check your inbox to see if it came in. So this says it was successful. I've set up other ones with like Office 365 
where if one setting is wrong, you'll get a huge error saying, hey, 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 something's wrong. You got to check this, that, and the other. You go and correct it, and then it works. Anyway, that is it. What's nice is once you set up this API, you set up the plugin, which there isn't much to it, you hit save. Now you're guaranteeing that all of those notifications get to your inbox, your client's inbox, whoever's inbox, uh, which is really nice. And then within SendGrid, you can see those reports like, hey, this didn't work or it did work. If you want to see it within WP Mail SMTP, you would get the Pro, which is pretty inexpensive for what this stuff is and what it does because it does a lot of heavy lifting for you. All right, well, that's it. My name is John Bunka. Thank you again for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, facebook.com slash group slash Press Avenue. Go ahead and give us that thumbs up if you like this. And also let me know in the comments if you're able to use this, if you do use it, or if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching.